Yo, what's up, guys? It's Greg from the Scrubs Podcast today. And today, I just want to try something a little bit different today. Here's going to be where I just kind of rant about basketball, whatever I want to talk about, whatever takes I have. I'm just going to rant about them, especially since now, like, the podcast is a lot harder to set up. And, you know, it's not going to come out frequently. I mean, it hasn't come out in, like, a couple months. I mean, although we did record a couple episodes, they're not out yet. So here, I'm just going to be talking about Whatever basketball take I feel like, at any point in time, just going to be a lot of filler content, a bunch of ranting. And, you know, I'm not really used to being on like, a microphone doing these type of videos and stuff like this. So, you're going to hear me, like, go on way too fast. It's not going to, you know, it's my first time doing this. So, if it sounds bad, you know, just bear with me. Hopefully, it'll get better the more I do this, you know. Or if not, then, you know, that fucking sucks, but... Today I want to talk about the Houston Rockets and their future or lack therefore of because, you know, it's kind of shitty right now. They don't have a lot of assets. Don't a lot have, a lot have a lot of ways to, you know, get better. And I want to talk about their most recent disaster in the playoffs. They've had a lot of them, Westbrook and James Harden. We're going to talk about Westbrook too. Oh, and of course, you know, Mike D'Antoni not being with the team anymore. Even with D'Antoni leaving, I still don't think that makes much of a difference. Mainly because they're still going to retain Daryl Morey. And he has he shares the same basketball philosophy with analytic-driven ideas. Nothing but threes and layups. So, even if they get a different coach... I still think that coach would fall in line with what Daryl Moore believes and they would still fall into this small ball lineup. There's also not a lot of moves they can make to really change their roster dramatically or really add another player. They're over the salary cap, little to no tradable assets. Most of their role players are on minimum contracts so you can't trade them and get something useful for them because you can't match salaries with their contracts. So, how do you get better with a roster like that? No assets, no trades, no money. Unless you trade one of your star players, either James Harden or Russell Westbrook. So, it begs the question, who out of that, who out of that duo would you trade? And, Naturally, it's going to be Westbrook because he does not fit with that basketball philosophy that the Rockets have. Threes and layups. He's one of the worst shooters in the league, so naturally, that was a dumb decision when they initially traded for him because he obviously was not going to fit into their system. And since their system so heavily relied on James Harden being able to attack and isolate and create double teams for him and kick out the open shooter they weren't able to be very successful because Westbrook's man would just leave him completely open and help double James Harden. And that really costed their offenses. Now, James wasn't be able to be able to be very effective as he usually is. And also affected Westbrook because now he's being forced into a spot-up shooter because no one's playing off the ball into their system. No one's really cutting. There's no off-ball movement. Everyone's really stationary in the Houston Rockets system. So, if you're going like, if you're going to trade for some star, trading for Russell Westbrook was probably one of the worst fits for that team. And there was a lot of optimism and hope that oh, because they're good friends, that they'd be able to change their styles, and it just didn't make sense because Westbrook was literally lacking in a huge department that was so necessary for that system to work, and it was his lack of shooting. So, I know they were desperate to get a new star because. They didn't want to play. They, James Harden probably had some type of issue with Chris Paul, and they didn't want to pay him that much. To get him, him getting older, him looked like he was on the decline, which obviously wasn't true. He was just in a wrong system, in a wrong scenario for him, and was not being used to his strengths. So they traded him thinking, okay, maybe now with Westbrook, we can play a little faster because when they had uh, Chris Paul, they were one of the slowest teams in the league. But now with Westbrook, they can maybe push the pace. 
And when Westbrook first got there, they realized they couldn't have a center no longer because Westbrook needed space for him to drive. And you can't have two non-shooters in Clint Capella and Russell Westbrook on the court at the same time if you want that offense to be efficient in the way they like to do it. So they traded him. They go super small. And then they go on a little pure success when they first do that. Then they go crashing back down to reality. I think they went like 500 or slightly below like a, like the next six games after their initial run. And then so they lose all the momentum. Then the bubble happens. They struggle to beat the Thunder with Chris Paul. And it's very, very clear at that point in time. They made a huge mistake trading Chris Paul. And then... They won that series by the skin of their teeth. They go to the seven. They win the first game against the Lakers. Some people think they're going to win for some reason. Because they won game one. Mainly just Lakers haters. And then they get smashed back into reality. Westbrook plays terrible. He has two god-awful games. Then he has the worst playoff, playoff run of his entire career. Lowest in points per game. Free throw percentage. And assists per game. And they obviously lose, so. If you were going to trade Westbrook, who takes Westbrook? Who's willing to give you valuable assets that will make this team better? Take that contract. What team is willing to do it? I just don't see any team that is willing to take Westbrook and give great assets back that would actually help the Houston Rockets. So if you do trade a person and like hope to get something good out of them like it would have to be James Harden it would have to be James Harden where you can get valuable assets that you can help rebuild this team with but there's a problem why on earth would you trade the best player on your team and that's kind of the dilemma the Houston Rockets are in there's no clear option on how to improve this roster no clear co way to make to get more talent this team is kind of pigeonholed into this situation. And that's just the fault of Daryl Morey. There's no real vision. He just kind of threw things at the wall. He just kind of threw things at the wall, getting Westbrook and then going super small. There was just no clear path. You can't play small ball and then add a, like, put this heavy emphasis on the ability to shoot and then get a guy who can't shoot and needs the ball so he cannot play off the ball and do you want James Harden obviously to be your star you obviously want him to controlling the ball most of the tempo and attacking all that but he can't do that if you have Westbrook on the court these two guys do not have a play style that meshes so even if you get rid of Mike D'Antoni and somehow convinced Daryl Morey to change his basketball philosophy you still have to find a way where Westbrook and James Harden can share the court and be effective together and I just don't see that happening so I'm just so I'm just very confused <laughs> as to how they're going to get better and then you throw in like they still need a center you can probably get one though you can probably get a center for cheap but Westbrook is getting older, and you have to factor that in too. He's 32 years old, coming off a quad injury, and you have to understand, like, really wonder. A player that relies purely off athleticism, how much longer is he going to be effective for? And you really have to worry about that. And then G.J. Tucker's 36 years old. You have to wonder how long he'll be effective for. Now you have all this uncertainty about him. Players are aging. You have no coach. Your GM is obsessed with small ball. No draft picks. No cap room. James Harden can't do everything by himself. So, where do they go from here? Probably just blow it all up, if that we're being honest. I just don't see a way this roster can come close to winning a championship. Especially since next year, more than likely, the Warriors are going to return back to dominance. They're going to be coming back with an $18 million trade exception, a mid-level exception, and the second overall draft pick. Steph Curry getting healthy, Clay Thompson getting healthy, and role player Draymond Green coming back. 
So, the West is going to get even more competitive. The Clippers are still there. The Lakers are still there. Nuggets have shown incredible growth. They are becoming an elite team. An elite, elite team. Then you got the Trail Blazers, who are a tough team. I don't expect them to be a world beat or anything like that. You still got the Jazz, who are going to be competitive. And you got the Mavericks, who are probably going to make a big jump. They were the seventh seed this year. I expect them to be battling for a home court, so probably around fourth or fifth. So, the West is becoming so much tougher. The Suns were great, too. Can't forget about that in the bubble. Don't know if that's going to carry over to next year, but the West is getting super competitive. The roster can't improve. Westbrook tries a three and goes under the rim. Do they picture themselves? Nothing higher than a second round finish. That's the best you can do. So if you're just going to get a second round finish, you might as well just blow it up. Get a bunch of draft picks. Maybe, see if maybe now you can fix your roster. Get a bunch of role players. Get a cohesive plan on what you want to do. And go back and attack two, three years from now. It's not a pretty idea. It's not a great idea because it's such with the uncertainties of the draft, talent. You don't really know how to scout now, but that's the situation then. You don't have great ideas how to scout because rebuilding is going to be tough with the coronavirus now. And your star players are disappointing every year in the playoffs. You have a bad eye basketball philosophy that's proven to not work. Mike D'Antoni's field time and time, time and again. They've never, never came close beside that 2018 series. And even that series, they... They died by the three. They died by their own philosophy because they refused to switch up and do something different. So, that's just my take, my little rant on the Houston Rockets. Um, what's going to happen to them? What's their expectations? It's just not looking good for them. So, you know, that's all I got today.